I tried to leave um, and it had been a little bit violent before. TVs got broken, phones got broken, um, a lot of threats like if I try to leave he would say I'm going to burn your parents house down if you go there, if anyone gets in my way, I don't care who they are, um, I'll kill them for my family. Um, and I took that a lot to heart. So I tried to leave one day and I had my bags packed and he threw my suitcase all over and put a dent in the wall. He broke his phone, he broke my phone, and um, I'd had enough. And I said, I just want to leave. Um, and he slammed me up against the wall. And I think he realized what he was doing. Um, it had never gotten that aggressive. Put his hands on me again and pushed me up against the wall. And um, I just slumped to the floor at that point. I woke up at five o'clock in the morning. I called my mom, I told her I wanted to come home and she said, Marcy, you get those babies and your things. You get in the truck and you come home. It was almost two and a half years and I finally got approved for housing in January of 2019. And if it wasn't for these foundations, like AAFE especially, I mean, their advocates here are amazing. Um, allowing the resources to get free counseling for divorce and all of those, that's unheard of. Um, and that's what I want people to understand and see is that you need the community around you. You need a village and it doesn't, it's not just parents, it's not just friends, it's our community and there are resources out there and I'm, a, I'm living it. I did it. They embrace you. They don't make you feel broken or that something's wrong. They make you feel loved and supported and that's what I want people to understand is, is that yes, you are. There are moments that you are broken and terrified and scared, but their job is not not to do the actions of gluing you back together, but to hand that glue and say, hey, we're here to support you and we're gonna we're gonna walk with you along this journey.